in our recent videos we've been talking a lot about carbohydrates so what are good and bad carbohydrates refined carbohydrates are basically those carbohydrates or sugars and starches which don't exist in nature the process of industrial refining means it takes away that bran coating and actually these carbohydrates are stripped of their nutrients and goodness and fibers and what is left behind is basically simple sugar so although these refined carbohydrates are actually quite convenient option easy to cook and digest they can have a negative impact on someone's weight and blood sugar so let's have a little look at what are the refined carbohydrates in our day to day life or in our kitchen basically and you'll be surprised to see the list i mean this list is by no means exhaustive but just look at this anything which is instantly cooked like instant oatmeal or white rice anything from white sugar or fruit syrups to all flours that we use in our rotis or parathas and things like that especially maida as we all know is quite processed highly processed and not great for uh, your blood sugar control fruit juices except lemon or lime fizzy drinks they particularly are quite bad for your blood sugars because they contain a lot of sugar corn starch potato starch so anything which has got starch and even your bakery products that we probably all love to eat like um white bread and biscuits cookies and bagels anything from muffins to cakes and all desserts including your ice creams and jelly so now remember when we say all desserts whole fruits are not included because whole fruits again are rich in fibers and they retain all the goodness of natural uh, carbohydrates in it so what are good carbohydrates in let's have a little look the list is again not exhaustive here but i've tried to list some of them which we actually can incorporate in our day to day life anything which has got 100% whole grain you can be assured that they have tried to maintain the goodness of carbohydrates in it so let's have a little look at some examples so things like brown rice quinoa ragi anhul bali bajra and whole oats and buckwheat can be some good examples vegetables and lentils are obviously a good example of uh, good carbohydrates as well whole fruits and not the juices as we discussed before so there is a reason why these are good carbohydrates because obviously they are complex carbohydrates and broken down in your body quite slowly so they make you feel full for a longer period of time and remember they are rich in fiber as well so let's do some interesting calculations compare a cup of brown rice with a cup of white rice and say take for example one ragi roti and compare the carbohydrates and calories with your normal white wheat flour chapati or roti so a cup of white cooked rice has 242 calories in comparison with same serving of brown rice which gives you less a number of calories but look at the carbohydrates white rice gives you about 53 grams of carbohydrates with little and or no fiber but the same serving of brown rice gives you 46 grams of carbohydrates with 4 grams of fiber so this is quite important to understand that it's not just about carbohydrates but something called as net carbohydrates which you get when you actually subtract or take away the fiber element now look at ragi roti which gives you about 90 calories and 14 grams of carb while your normal wheat flour chapati or roti gives you 110 calories so slightly more than ragi roti and also it's got more amount of carbohydrates overall in it so now you know what things to choose and what things to look at when you're actually talking about carbohydrates so see how you can actually incorporate good carbs in your plate instead of having the bad carbs or refined carbohydrates so here is the bottom line for you eat real food and real meaning which exist in nature 100% whole grains are obviously a good choice but watch the quantity of your carbohydrates along with quantity quality also matters we have seen the list of good carbs so try to include those good carbs in your diet 
and brown is better than white. I hope this video really helps you to choose the right carb and also to understand the reason behind that choice. Thank you.